So people who are going on the Sunday and bless up on yourself, flame them and shame them, you see flame that nah man. I have some interesting topics coming up soon, I'm going to show you the preview. You don't know the flame how it's going to be. Kusha Kasha. System of fire, brother. Them no want to see you come out. Them are dead now. that. So right now, do you think that right now, teacher? I have just given life to God and know, say, yo. You are about next 20 years now. that. Bumbo clock, you know. When you shoot up that car, kill the 14 year old, there was no damn shoot out Jamaica police. When you know that, we ask the authority to do a swap test for the youth, the young man's body, and for the rest of them. Who up on did that? Something don't look right. Spice, I don't know if you don't have any PR or you don't have anybody to be telling you good things in your ears and steering you in the right way. You need to cut out the fuck, you know. You, know. you see, you will notice a trend going on from the other day. The female artists they run out in a one big disgraceful situation. And have the people where them call them fans a boots them in a hit. Can't take this no more now. I tell you TV. Tell you the I tell you I body flag on me now to tell you. So people I come across a viral video with a female blogger over on TikTok and I tell you moms a beat and teach female recording dancehall artist Spice yes man some good encouragement moms a drop on Spice now from Spice release the single entitled 2085T I tell you a bag of mix up a go on about here you know we even see Spice forward out on our TikTok page and moms are ex Expose a bag of people, boy, oh boy. Any of viewers, me gon' run what the TikTok blogger have to say about female recording dancehall artist Spice. You, the viewers, let me know in the comment section if you agree with her or feel free to let me know if you disagree. Spice, I don't know if you don't have any PR or you don't have anybody to be telling you good things in your ears and steering you in the right way because it seems like you're letting your ego get the best of you you're letting your emotion get the best of you because i don't understand how you stated that your dancer danger she was 19 at the time you said that your child father the manager for your team raped her and you didn't do anything for her you didn't send her no money for therapy. You didn't advocate for her. No, we hear a voicemail where you were disrespecting her, saying that your, your baby father was effing her and sucking her. That girl came out and cried tears. Why didn't you send her some money for therapy? That money that you claim now that you're going to send the person that accused your obvious man of molestation. Now you're willing to send him money for lawyer, something that is not proven. What you should be doing is encourage him to report that to, uh, to the police because that's a serious allegation, it's a serious crime. Encourage the young man to go to the police and report it. But no, you want to jump in just because you have some personal vendetta against your obvious man that you claim that you didn't know for three years. All of a sudden, you know him as a pastor. You want to send the man that's accusing him lawyer money. But danger that was under your care, 19 years old at the time, working for you, your child father alleged rape her and you confirm it say you believe you didn't send her one penny for therapy but here you go just because of personal vendetta against your obvia man mm -hmm, you want to send this man money make it make sense spice is either you have something to lose or something to prove no you're going out as a big international artist you're advocating for this man that accused your ex obvia man what, what what is the connection there of, of child molestation the same man that you have around your kids for years Mm-hmm. So now he's no good because you're not no friend no more. So now you're fighting against him. That's all fine. But I, I urge you to encourage this young man to go report it to the police. So that's a crime. That's where you start from first. Before you give him lawyer money, spice, and them chop you, send him to go to the police station and report it. It's a crime. If it was, if it was, it has done, I, if it, it happened, I don't know. Tell him to go report it, but no. As a big international, did Blubber and Pop see how you behaved on the internet? Did they see how you behave on the internet? No, you didn't have any money to send to, to you, well, I didn't say you didn't have any money. You didn't send any money to danger for therapy. 
this traumatized um, alleged rape victim that got raped under your care. You didn't send her one money for therapy. But here you go, because of personal vendetta, you want to send this um, man that accused your, your ex obia man of molestation. And you're not encouraging this man to go to the police. That's the first step. Spice, decide who you want to advocate for and what is the cause and what is the reason. Decide if you have something to lose or something to prove. It's not a good look. You don't have any self-control. We can see that because you can't even close your mouth. You eat, you know, that you get very thick. Yeah. First, you have to learn some self-control. You don't have any self-discipline and it's showing all over you. And everything you talk about because you're black. It's not because you're black. It's because your behavior. Your behavior is why people treat you like this. And you see those, those fans that you have? And not encouraging you the right way and sending you all kind of information and not telling you what you're doing is not right. And even if you want to help this man, you should have do it behind closed door. But no, you want to come in the public because I don't know if at this point, Spice, you don't need any clouds. I'm not even going to say that. I don't even know what the reason is. But it's obviously something is going on with you and it's not a good look. You're letting your emotions get the best of you. Real star like Beyonce mm -hmm, and Jay-Z and Kim, Kim, Kim Kardashian. People say manner of things under their posts every day, but because of the star that they are, they would never look. They have people, they have PR to take care of those things. But because you want you, because you are a local queen behaving like you, you know, your queen, you want to come rub with the peasant. Spice, a queen doesn't come off her throne and throw tomatoes with peasant. And you have been throwing tomatoes with peasant lately. That's not queen like behavior. Queen telling a man to come do to our vagina. A big international artist like you. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Stop advocating for your ex obia man accuse, that accused them and go advocate for the rape victim like Danger, your ex-dancer, 19 at the time under your care, alleged that your child father raped her. Go check that, y'all. So people, veteran recording reggae dancehall artist Shakin Murray, the man forward out and I speak about the whole mix up work one with the female them in the business from Queen Africa to Spice to Maka Diamond to Lady Saw. Boy, oh boy, the man I make them know definitely, you know, say, oi, a time on our way, you know, because Uno make the fans them a boost, you know, up for go and see each other, and at the end of the day, if you think the fans them love, you know, mm -mm, Uno make a sad mistake. People, I don't go around the thing, I agree with what Shakin Moria says. So I'm going to run what I have to say. You, the viewers, talk to me in the comment section if you agree with him or feel free to let me know if you disagree. I noticed a trend I go on from the other day. The female artists they run out in one big disgraceful situation. And have the people where them call them fans a boot some of it. I want to feel like say, them people they love you. Know? They do not love you. Know? Because if they, did, if they did love and respect, you know, they would have tell you, say, we don't do a folly and it don't look good. But you know, make them a boots on the night and an influence on the night. And when I and I come out and talk, you have them up in a I and I comment and talk about it's a Rasta man that chat too much. Rasta enough to mix up in a bangarang and all this type of thing. Let me tell you something. When I and I soon out there and not going good, I and I go run out pound, you know, and straighten on out. And you see all of the people that we are run up in my comment and attack them bag of crap. Let me tell you now something. We're not going to get one big bag of rent I am. Our half dozen dry native coconut. And greater them and juice it and get the juice out of it. Put it in a one big pot and put it on the fire and peel all of the yam them. One big bag, cocos bag of yam. And put it in the pot and boil it down in a coconut. And sit down and eat one tree. And yam me half. I'm full on the belly and keeping yourself quiet. I want to know don't drink too jelly and keeping yourself quiet. And stop coming up and have a comment come come talk talk nonsense. All I want artists we make on the so-called fans and my boots on your rungs. On the stay there. On the stay there. I full no repetition on our spoil. I full no character on our spoil up. You know say it. On the better take aid. Me shocking Murray said that. So people watch the flame, I come across a viral video with a TikTok blogger speaking about the 14 year old who lose him life, you know. They must say allegedly police and gunman in a shootout. Boy, oh boy, man. Tell you. Jamaican her. police, Jamaican it was police. never a shootout. Who knows how to run? Who knows how to shoot at that car? 
kill the 14 year old there was no damn shootout jamaica police who don't know that we ask the authority to do a swap test for the youth the young man's body and for the rest of them who open did that because that will tell if there was any shootout and the public need to know because a regular don't do them things who don't do me that already too you know remember say no me i drive one day now me never soon down the road now me see one girl and I say, baby, I can come talk to you. And she give me a nice man. And I say, sure, come talk to me. And I make a U-turn and go back. I stop and talk to the girl. I come out of the car and I talk to the girl. And when I look at Uno fly up there, long time. I don't even know where police come from. What do you say? You see, we are turn back. Where the driver for the car? Then I say, I'm here the driver for the car, you know. I say, so we turn back and you see me. I say, officer, seriously? You know, she said, one nice, sexy girl, I say, and I have to spin around for come get her attack. And him asked the girl, the girl said, yeah, him just, him asked me if I could talk to him, you know? And me tell him, yeah, and him just been wrong. We never even seen a police down there. So much to say, I'm going aggressive. I'm just throw my key to him and say, go and go search the car. While me stay there and go and chat to the girl, I said, no, put nothing in my car, you know? You see, who don't feel just, who don't feel, who don't feel proactive, man? If I car even a runner from him, man, not shoot up the people in the car, man. I have a strong telling them to do this bumble clock bullshit, you know? I'm mean, going to see the Prime Minister come out and tell him, he said, no. Be proactive in saving life. If you know there was no shootout. Either thing you know, go on with and you don't know the truth. And we are called for a deep investigation. And all these police officers are accountable. Turning back from a checkpoint, don't warrant for you to shoot up a car. Suppose I don't want to bother with police this day. I soon enough time, I don't want to bother with you. I'm going to just make a turn. Then you know, fabricate the story talk about high speed chase. People have a run out of car if you're shooting up the car. If you shoot up my car, and me I tell them, me have a legal firearm, and if me see police I shoot up my car, it's going to be shoot out with me and them because me not going to stay in a car and dead. If you see police I shoot up your car for nothing, it's either you're going to take evasive action to defend yourself, or you're going to run out of the car and try to escape. Right? Right. And if you stop it, you know, all murderer. You know, all wicked. You know, all wicked. You know, know that too. So, you know, kill an innocent 14 year old. How much more Jamaicans you know, kill innocently? How much more? Let's start about the how much more Jamaicans you know, kill, you know, you know, kill innocently. Let's start about that. I want to sleep at night, come wicked. Jamaica people. I know I don't want crime and violence for court. I want to know your police statement. Take it with a grain of salt. Because you know how to steal. Once something gets put out there and people get labeled, you don't run with it forever. You don't try to even wait for an investigation. You don't do that to me already too. You don't come to me rap supermarket. Good thing the man for the skate line said him. Could rap supermarket because him and all the skate line gate for me from 6.30 till, till 11 o'clock the night. So when we could like a rap supermarket, who do just see people and just say, yo, the person is black, the person is dark skin and tall. And you just go grab somebody and throw a charge on them. Suppose the owner for the skate land never realized, never give me the permission for all the skate land gate fee for all them hours that him could have collect the money at the boots. Suppose it wasn't for him. When I sit in a jail for armed robbery, he. Eh? I mean, I have criminal record, I mean, I commit crime. Idiot thing, you know, do man. You know, know the truth, man. On the story, they just kill innocent Jamaican. And Jamaicans, you know, if you stop it. Stop when you know your police story, you know, just jump on it, so. And believe what them say. Let due process work through. And the commissioner of police and the, and, the, and, the, and the minister of national security and the relevant authority must not cover up the truth. One must give the plain truth, and if a police officer is guilty of an offense, he should be charged and tr and tried and sent to jail. Can't just shoot down innocent Jamaican people, man. And one thinks, yeah, because we want get everybody a criminal as soon as police shoot, you don't believe them. How comes when Mr. Bailey gets robbed and killed at the Cambio? How comes there was no police in the area, but all of a sudden one little car chase and so much police around? Come on. Come on, Jamaica people. Seriously? My heart. Because remember, it could be my child. And it could be your child too. Don't think crime is far from any one of us doorstep. When you say injustice, if you speak on it. 
and we are justice den delay is justice denied. Jamaica, wake up, take a stand, don't wait till the crime and the violence reaching the doorstep to want to, to want to cry out and call out. Uno police for stop it. And don't cover up the investigation. Was it no shootout? Uno know that too. And me I tell him to say it wasn't a shootout. Cause you know, own police colleagues attack say it was a shootout. But guess what? Then now I'm gonna take it to the investigation. I'm gonna hope that police officer, just like how you privately can say it, I hope you tell the investigator say it wasn't a shootout. Do the honorable thing and tell the truth. And don't let this family of this 14 year old and the rest name spoil as shootout as criminals. Jamaica, wake up. So people watch the flame, I come across a viral video with an entertainer son. Allegedly, the man said, Golly Bapa, I'm father, you know, mm -hmm, I don't know how true it is. But, him forward out and I speak about incarcerated recording dancer DJ Adija Palmer, aka Vibes Cartel. The man has said, you know, yo, the system don't want for free cartel. So, this has cheap cartel baptize and them thing there and stop the fighting and just give him life to God because he might go get more 120 more years. Boy, oh boy, the Gaza fans they don't want to hear this. But anyhow, I'm going to run away to say, you the viewers talk to me in the comment section if you agree with what I'm going to deal with or feel free to let me know if you disagree. Boy, teacher, you are going to know, teacher. The system of fight on my father, you see what I say? The system of fight, brother. Them no one want to see you come around. Them are dead in that. So right now, do you think that right now, teacher? I've just given life to God and know, say, yo, you're about next 20 years in that. 20 years? 20 years from now you might, what? 50, 70, basically. 20 years from now you are 70. You see what I say? A dead man never want a dead in that, brother. So, you have to just give your life to God. Nobody will be fighting no more. No matter where you do, they know let you out, brother. I don't see why they're all. I don't see why they're still all. Because you think of England, England, free up your thing. No, you come here, so they're still all up your thing, brother. So, you have to just give your life to God and just ask for health and strength, brother. Because we all know that you're sick. Sick and you, you need you need medical medical um, taking care of, brother. And the people in my fight, brother. They're not letting you out. They're dead, they're dead in this account. Just give your life to God. And just go and read the Bible, brother. And go and hold me the same way. Because you don't see back put more, brother. You don't see back no way out as a brother until you're dead. That's what I'm going to do with you. Big man thing. I'm going to say, why? What is the reason why they can't let you go? You see what I'm saying? So just go and pray. Go and try to keep healthy, see me. And hold it out. Because rough point of my father. Yeah, you don't know it's your girl, Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news.